Hey, Serena. You want to be in one of my rant videos? <laughs> she, she was for the first time in a singing video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you guys a story. It's not really a rant video because they're too stupid to rant on. But anyway, she was there so she can testify. Are you going to testify, sister? Are you going to testify? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Well, you got to hang on like everybody else listen to the I'm, damn story. I'm, I'm, yeah. All right. So anyways, <laughs> we were at the chug wagon races and we had a great time. Amazing time. It was very fun. We met a lot of new people, new friends, great mule people, seen some amazingly pretty mules, some dang good mules, got to ride with a lot of our friends that we met on Facebook and have never seen in person. So we had a great time doing that. And uh, Sabrina, she hadn't really rode since she had a baby in three years. And so she, you know, I mean, she might've rode five or 10 minutes here or there, but she ain't really rode. And she got to ride a lot this week, got it back in. Charlie took care of her, I'm you know, sore. she's very sore. Part of it's because she was locked in the trailer with me for a week. <laughs> <laughs> but some of it's from the meal, I reckon. But anyways, we ain't had no kid for a week. <laughs> we never had that before either. Oh, not for the last three years. So she ain't been rode this hard in three years. <laughs> you were so embarrassing. Anyways, so anyways, um, ninety nine percent of everything was so fun, so positive. Uh, meeting new friends, catching up with old friends, people we ain't seen in a long time. But let me tell you this one thing. All right, so if you're on my facebook we're always looking for a reason to delete people like if you're white and you talk like you're black just delete me because we're not going to get along that's always been my that's how i decide whenever i need to add somebody else i look for and if you talk like that type like that you take the time to actually type out like you're from compton and you're white then i delete you but anyways just not that i think there's anything wrong with that it's just that we obviously have nothing in common so there's no point in us being friends on facebook more power to you. I hope you get a bunch of other friends like that, but you're not going to need me on your friends list because you're not going to like martial arts or mules. And I don't understand what you're saying. And you don't understand what I'm saying. So it's nothing personal. It's just how it is, right? Okay. So same thing. I'm going to tell you about this type of person. If you're this type of person, you can go ahead and delete me. I'm not saying you're wrong. You might be right. We just have nothing in common. And there's also going to be no reason for us to be friends on Facebook live or anything else. So we're sitting up here on this picnic table underneath the shade <clears throat> and this huge lady who I guarantee you can't get on a horse anyway. There ain't no way she can get on a horse. She's an equestrian. After 600 So this equestrian lady in shorts and tennis shoes, you know, she's half in her shorts, half out of her shorts. I mean, there's no reason for her to even be at a horse thing because she, you know, you'd have to get blocked. But anyway, she's an English equestrian and she proceeds to tell me where i'm wearing you know the coolidge johnny ringo mustache i hadn't shaved in a week a cowboy hat boots and spurs she's gonna sit there and take the time with unsolicited to tell me how superior english horses english riders and riding around an arena is to western anything but much less a damn mule so you know, so I don't like her anyway, you know, right off. But the after, but before she even starts telling me this 30 minute story, I'm sitting there and it's hot. This is a, it's a damn hundred degrees out here. It's, you know what I'm fixing to tell, ain't it? Yeah. Look, it's hotter than hell. Had it done to me. Not like that, you know, have you? Okay, well, anyways, let me tell you my story. So, you got to ride up to the top of this hill on this mule. And then you got to tie your mule up. And then you got to walk up the hill. And I don't have no problem with that. And we've been sitting down here watching the mule races. And I've been enjoying that. But it's hot. And I'm thirsty. And I'm bad thirsty. Well, I drink tea. I drink a lot of tea. I don't drink beer. I don't drink, you know, I just, I don't drink alcohol. I want my damn tea and I want a lot of ice in it. A lot of ice. I want it cold. It's iced tea for a reason. It's not, I don't want warm tea and whatever. And so I tell this lady, Get me, I want a lot of ice. She fills this sucker up with ice and it's great. And this tea is half sweet, half unsweet. You know, I don't like it sweet, I don't like it unsweet. I'm very picky about my tea. I like my tea, that's my thing, I like tea. So I get my glass of tea, 32 ounce, big old cup, ton of ice. I take two sips of it, I sit down in the shade. I'm enjoying it. This equestrian fat lady 
lets her collie dog jump up not on the steps i'm not sitting on the steps i'm sitting backwards on the table with my feet on the bench sitting my ass on the top of the table so i can see the chuck wagon races lets her down collie ass dog full-size collie jump on top of this picnic table and start drinking my damn sweet tea and what does she say it's okay because she brushes the damn dog's teeth <laughs> If you think it's okay for your dog to get on a picnic table in a public place and drink a man's tea, and you're gonna sit there after that and tell him why English horses and equestrian riding is superior to Western riding and a mule, delete yourself right now. Hurry up, delete, quick, delete yourself. And I took it, did I not take it? Yeah. I took it, I sat there because I thought, you know, I couldn't hit her. I wish it had been a man. I couldn't have choked her. My arms couldn't choke nothing that big. And they're gonna sit there and tell me that. And I'm looking at her. And then she she tells her little scrawny husband, who don't weigh 135, you know, who's hiding in the shadows thinking I'm fixing to rip his head off for her stupid ass. Anyway, he, he said, I think I should go get the dog some water. I said, go get him a damn tea. He likes tea. He don't want no water. She said, and you know what she says? She doesn't think I'm being a smart ass. She says, well, I've never tried that. I've only ever given him water. I give him treats, but I've never tried to give him tea. <laughs> so, well, give me my damn tea then, you know? So anyways, if that's your, if you think that she's right, delete yourself. Oh my God. Let me tell you what, and then my buddy's Virgil Gist, they're, they're on Zorses. And she's like, well, what is a Zorse? So I try to explain what a Zorse is, because it's really complicated. A zebra screwed a horse. It's a zorse. She said, well, they don't have anything to do with mules? No. Half zorse, half zebra, half horse, zorse. Nothing to do with a mule. She said, well, what if you took a zorse and crossbred it with a, with a mule? What would you get if you crossed a zorse and a mule? I said, not much and nothing. <laughs> she thought I was being a smart. They're damn sterile, you idiot. <laughs> Both of them. They're hybrids, you know? So anyways, since she's such a smart equestrian, I didn't bother to explain it. So she can just go off thinking that I'm a smart ass. And you know what? I drank my damn tea. That's how hot it was. Me and the collie shared the tea and I drank my tea. I didn't even go get a new tea. I just drank my tea. I was looking at you like, uh, you're gonna Well, hell, she brushes his teeth, it's okay. So anyway, that's my rant video for today. I need some more, be able to add some mule friends and mule people that I met at the chuck wagon races that actually ride and actually ride outside of arena and actually have a saddle that fits the mule, not a giant 20 inch ass. They can get on a mule without a stair step and ride outside of an arena. And anyways, if you're an equestrian and you don't see no use for no mules or a western saddle or riding outside of an indoor barn again you may be right but you need to delete yourself because there is no reason for us to be friends and if your dog drinks somebody's tea i understand that but don't ask them don't talk to them go buy them another damn tea and bring it to them that's the right thing to do Go get the damn tea. Don't ask, don't tell them it's okay because you brush your dog's teeth. Go buy the man a damn tea and bring it back to him. Don't you agree? Yes, that's the thing. I mean, I'm not saying I should get mad about a dog drinking a tea. I understand that. It's hot. They should have had water for the dog. But go get me another damn tea and don't ask me about it. Just go get it. So, for, for the record, if your dog ever drinks my tea, it's half sweet, it's half unsweet, and you need extra ice. So, go get it. Bring it back. It will be cool. <laughs>